Shortly after positioning a patient in the prone position for a lumbar laminectomy, the patient has a cardiac arrest. This was confirmed by the absence of pulses, an EKG showing ventricular fibrillation, and lack of capnograph waveform. Cardiac arrest in the prone patient is difficult to manage as poor access to the chest makes CPR and defibrillation difficult. This may be further exacerbated during surgery by an open back wound, protruding metal work, and an unstable spine. Cardiac arrest in the prone position can be due to multiple causes. When airway management problems occur, they are difficult to manage in the prone position, which may lead to hypoxemia and arrest. If an endotracheal tube is dislodged, an LMA can be life-saving since it can be rapidly inserted without laryngoscopy in the prone patient. The prone position exacerbates hypovolemia by reducing venous return and cardiac output, thus inducing arrest in susceptible patients. Hypovolemic prone patients are at risk of venous air embolism from air entrapment and emboli due to hydrogen peroxide wound irrigation have been described. In addition to standard ASA monitors, invasive arterial blood pressure and central venous pressure monitoring and transesophageal echocardiography may help prevent, elucidate, and treat an arrest. Should you face this situation, all efforts should be made to turn the patient supine. However, Turning the patient should not delay resuscitative efforts, including the administration of inotropes and defibrillation. Cardiac compressions can be done from the back if the surgical field can be avoided. A one- or two-handed technique with or without counterpressure on the sternum have been described. Open cardiac compressions are an option if there is a sarcotomy allowing access to the heart. Defibrillation requires the electric current to pass through the heart. The defibrillating pads may have to be placed in unconventional positions and anesthesiologists should use their clinical judgment to assure successful defibrillation. Thus, prior placement of self-adhesive defibrillator pads in high-risk patients can be of tremendous value.